Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Territory War video. I'm bringing up the comparisons for these guilds right now. And let's see, just over here. Yeah, so we're not super even. I think they might have a couple of members that didn't join up. Um, they have 12 more Ray than us, five more Supreme Leader Kylo. We both all have JML. Uh, they got one more Sith Eternal. One more JMK, five more Lord Vaders, and seven more Javas. Ten more Profundities. Uh, their average skill rating for GACC is 3391 compared to R3321. And this guild is Les Baguettes in Flames, uh, I guess. Um, we have the same current arena rank, which is not important, but kind of funny. Uh, so it's, you know, we're at a, at a little bit of a disadvantage, and I might not have as many battles to do. Um, within the time I can actually do them because they are a bit tougher. This is mostly um, the Starkiller teams and some Jabba's. Uh, I can go ahead and try to do this one. Um, there's a lot of Jabba and Lord Vader on the bottom wall too. So there's not tons of stuff for me to pick out and get battles in. Um, but let me just see... I know, yeah, probably the Chupio Kronk can make this bat uh, a punch up, but in the interest of time, I just want to go ahead and knock this out because I know I can. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. I might be able to take out a Lord Vader with it. Okay, so I feel a little bit crazy for trying this, but I'm going to try to take out a Lord Vader. They have the turn meter. It's going to go to Thrawn, so I'll stun him. Uh, not a super top royal guard, and then this uh, Lord Vader has a speed set, but it's not super fast. Um, anyway, I've done this in Arena, I think, uh, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, no, it actually went to Candrus, so I'll just done him, and he's actually dead. Um, these two can't get dazed. I should do this to get around the taunt. Move his turn meter. Mm. Well, let's go through the chewy, get some protection up. Uh, yeah, he's gone. Mm. Dang, that's unfortunate. Who does it get? Okay. Got him out. Yeah, it's probably going to just be left with a Lord Vader here. Sadly. But it was worth a try. Again, so close. Come on, so close. Get him. No. Can I do it? Get him down. No, the heal. Oh, that was so close. Gosh. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. You can't climb yourself because it's actually a lot of damage. Gosh. 
damage. Ah, I came so close with Han. Well, this can work. Maybe I can come up with a clever cleanup for that. Okay, so I'm not going to try to be too clever. I'm going to use Fennec. Uh, just three characters, because it works fine in 3v3. I don't need Mando, so I'm just going to have Dengar. He might call her to assist on his basic. And I'm going to keep him ability blocked basically the whole time. And if I were going to just try to do a full... Take on a full Lord Vader team with Bounty Hunters, probably wouldn't work out too well. And this way I save most of the important characters for... I'm going to save the cleanse, because I won't get the uh, contract yet. Um... I probably wouldn't win if I just did full bounty hunters. And that's I'm keeping him in ability block full time. He's just going to get wrecked. Yeah, so. Okay, clean up. Uh, I really wish I got that with a CLSC and that got so close. All right, doing another Lord Vader fight. I'm going to use Imperial Troopers and I cherry picked a Lord Vader without the Terminator gain. It's just the tank revive, and I have the revive prevention. Uh, so hopefully just get the kill on Royal Guard with Dark Trooper, which isn't a guarantee to happen, but it is the most likely outcome for who's gonna kill him. So beautiful, got, uh, don't have that much Terminator. Punching the face. Ah, oh, he didn't get the kill. That's not great. Yeah, I have the can't be revived. I have to do the fades. Stop it. Yes, okay, you get the kill. Gosh, finally. Um, let's do that. Let's see. Did I get an assist here? No. Have to go for a Thrawn. Here because I have this coming up. Okay, I need some good hits on Lord Vader. Okay, good. Finally getting some of those assists. Get the turn here. Please kill him. Yep. Red helps. Get the assist. There we go. Okay. Never so easy, but it did work out. Glad I didn't do a turn meter one because those are always super risky. Um, I don't know if I want to do another Lord Vader. I'm probably gonna find a Java. All right, going for a Java. Uh, they're all R5. Um, they have turn meter, so JMK shuts that down. I got the protection recovery for light side allies. I do have the revive prevention uh, for scoundrel kills. So, Cat will take out Kersantan right away. And then I gotta get to boost before she blows up some people. Um, as long as I use Padme's first special when I get to her, and don't forget and do something else dumb, I think I can survive that. Although, I don't know why I used General Skywalker. That was an absolute misclick. I meant to use General Kenobi. Okay. I don't know how that changes things. But now I don't have a General Skywalker to use. I'm going to have to use Shakti clones. Somewhere. And why am I attacking Embo? 
Sometimes when you're recording, you're thinking of other stuff and just get harebrained. I attached the wrong one too. Okay, I did everything incorrect in this. I just picked the one that looks like a short line of text. And that's not the right one, obviously. He's gonna blow someone up soon, I know it. I have to do this, because I need to get at her. This will call JMK at least, and okay, okay, cool. Guys, uh, this is just such a dummy move by me across the board. He's gonna not quite die. Okay, that's good. Honestly, I guess this is working out better than a lot of times where I do pick the right one and I still have lost. Just don't want that insta kill. She's gonna get an insta kill on someone. I would like to wish he would be dumb and use it on JMK, but I think that's probably not gonna happen. Let's keep saving it. Okay, he's finally gone. like getting kind of close to a timeout. The healing immunity. And, okay, I didn't even use the last four sleep. Okay, well... I approached that in the wrong way and got a good result. Uh, now I just need to make good use of Shakti clones later to not make gas a complete waste. Okay, so I actually found a general Grievous team that doesn't have the Droidic Omicron and it has Newt. So I'm gonna take that opportunity to use Bad Batch. Um, on the front wall, that's a steal to be able to get to use your Bad Batch right away. And they have the tank revive, which will give them an annoying bonus turn, extra bonus turn. Um, but I think ultimately it's stick on top here. Oh, I see, like, it's not even around for the bonus turns. Pop off immunity isn't amazing. Okay, there we go, got that base. Now I can just take him out. This is not the smoothest Bad Batch versus General Grievous ever. Bad out. Don't 
won't even bother to stick them out. And I will not give in to the extortion. Shoot him. Okay. Not any banners. Alright, and now I've picked out another Jabba to attack um, as the tank revive, and then no real applicable level 6. I think it's a level 4 data Datacron. I'm going to use this DCA. I usually use it with General Grievous, but I wanted to use a Terminator one with him this time. Uh, it gives me a good bit of extra health, a little some crit damage, protection, crit avoidance, and then um, First Order Stormtrooper should come back, I guess, unless he gets ulted. But this boosh is not the fastest. It is 295. Um, so that should be a good sign for this. And I've Kylo Ren amassed on defense with my Star Killer team. So just using plain Kylo Ren here. Hopefully I got a good combo going. I don't like them going after Hux first. I would like him to survive a couple turns. They have no buffs. And I pass this to Kylo. Siphon. Will Hux survive is the question. Okay, he did. So that's his job. He's probably going to die for this. And that is expected. Okay, he's not coming back. <laughs> She's gone. Okay. They're gone, that's known. He's not blinded, so I'm gonna go ahead swipe. Okay, yep, he came back. Um, yeah, this will be a solo act to finish up. Good, good assists. If he gets to the ult, I actually prefer he... Eh, he's gonna die. I was gonna say, I'd prefer if he used it over there, just so I don't get the armor shred on. Let's bring my Kylo. Okay, next turn I'll ult. Don't get the armor shred there. That's annoying, man. Like, okay, I'm gonna stun him because he like is actually doing damage. Can't crit him. I'm gonna kill Jabba before I kill him. That's insane. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. I just have the Omicron. 16. That's what you get with one left. Uh, now I'm gonna pick out one of these star killers. Try to find the best one, then use just sit the eternal watt on it. Okay, they don't have any that are super strong, so I just picked the one that had at least R7 uh, uh, star killer and both Omicrons. And this is you know 20% turn meter. It's a decent one. And I got just my health up, health seal up, all that stuff. So this is you know kind of a boring one, but it's. You know, I'm trying to get through that top wall. Heal up my walk. Dundon. 
Dang, man. Jeez. Doing a number on him. Not enough. Sickberry's actually pretty decent here. I think I might like her more than Vesis. She actually does some damage. Vesis, I think, is terrible. Palpatine against his past self, his real self. I guess that's a story there. Okay, 19. All right, I am back and I was actually wrapping something else up on my computer and I noticed uh, that I just, we just had another zone open up. It's been quite a while now. We got 15 hours, 19 minutes left in Territory War. And wouldn't you know, I wasn't able to do anything on this top wall or cost effectively because I accidentally used General Skywalker. Um, with my JMK, so hopefully I have something down here I can use Shock T clones on. Got a dash team. I uh, got some sign of Jangos. Uh, that looks pretty juicy. I need to jump on that. Uh, some Iden, so I can go Iden hunting actually, and um, I don't know if I'll get the chance to use my own Iden anywhere else. So I actually want to just. Go right at this weaker one with my own, just trying to grab any battles I can do. Uh, so they have no Datacron available, just gonna run in, get some wins. Um, and this is good because, you know, there's nothing that we're like, okay, we need Aiden later in the back wall for Territory War, so. And he's gone right off the bat. Spell. Oh. This is, this is like an ugly mirror. It's just. If you, you get penalized for attacking. That was kind of a bizarre battle, honestly. That's kind of funny. Um, let's do. Let's see what this is going for it. Oh, the stagger stun, extra damage. I I don't think Shock T can handle that. What I really want is something that Shock T can handle. Uh, let's try this. This actually doesn't look too threatening. Um, Galactic. See you. 501st. Got one of these light side data bronze. Health protection, potency, sense penetration, and armor. That's actually fine. It's pretty decent. You know, yeah, I know I'm just playing it fast and loose, but I'm assuming this can handle it. That to him. If he can take someone out, it's just going to be fall. Target him. If he can take someone out with that. That would be like sacrifice coming back. I should have saved the cleanse. It's been a long time since I used Shock T. Um, but Fives is just a champ at tanking. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I have days everywhere. Still got days.
Going back around in my cleanses. Five's tanking like a champ. Got stun there. It's like okay, I, I'm I will use that, but it's been like a pretty suboptimal approach by me, but I think I'll come out with it. Oh, is this is Vandor? Okay, sorry guys, I am an idiot. I thought I was hitting Vandor. I completely had tunnel vision against going there. I'm not the smartest sometimes, everybody. That's veteran smuggler. Now I pretty much gotta wait for Rex's Rexalate here. There we go. Another win in twenty. And I'll probably just pick off some other teams here. Okay, and now I'm targeting an Aiden team that actually is all relics and they have a Datacron. They're only relic three, but this is a great place to use Radis because he's Empire, or he has anti Empire synergy. And Aiden just gets, whole team gets pretty much perma dazed uh, once he gets some turn meter. Let's see how it goes. Just gotta hope they don't kill someone on my team. Okay. Is out there. Yeah, I guess they don't. It days because they're not getting a lot of turn meter. Okay, that's. Okay, at least she didn't cleanse and give them the thing. Poke him and he's dead, and now I can poke him and he's. Should have been dead. And I knew he was coming back there. Nice, and. Ah, I thought with that many exposes, she would just go down. Okay, eight exposes. She's gotta go down here, right? Okay, yeah. Nice. That didn't go as easy as I thought it would. But it worked. All right, changing up from the items of the world uh, in this grand arena. Wait, what's this little? Oh, sorry. You yeah, had the tip of my OBS popping over there for a while. Um, taking a break from the items in this wall, I'm gonna try a traverse a dash. Um, and, I th and it's got Hondo too. It's not like a level six or anything. There's basically not much of a datacron applied at all. But this isn't Grand Arena. However, I think um, Treya still had Dash's number in Grand Arena before the Omicron. And even if Hondo starts getting super evasive, um, I think. Oh, now he's stunned a Dash there. That was pretty fortunate. Even if he gets super evasive, he can't dodge and annihilate. Uh, so definitely isolate L3, and there's no Vandor here, so I can just try to kill Dash first. Okay, 
Commander Chewie gets annoyed. We've got the handcuffs on Scion. I'm gonna risk it, just wanna kill him, get him out of there. Now I'll take L3. She's hard enough to kill. If I need to, I'll get around quick to um, deflected. Stun you. Some insurance here. Nice. It's always good. Cannot dodge when he's stunned, and now he can't get outmaneuver. Probably gonna kill him before the annihilate. Nice. Twenty banners. Cool. It's a good use of Treya, I think. Now this is a real kind of experiment, and this is definitely a switch up. I'm trying to use Grand Inquisitor against Maul. And I got my standard Grand Inquisitor Datacron, got the level 6 where it's dispelling all the time, the level 9. The thing that makes me feel better about it is the level 9 that's going to give me damage immunity once someone goes down. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go actually. This is something I probably wouldn't risk in GAC, but they don't have a Datacron. Uh, which makes me feel a little bit better about it. And... Now, it's annoying getting stuck behind his taunt, but... Uh, no, don't... Uh, cleanse doesn't make... Or the heal doesn't make total sense. I think ability blocking everyone would help if they actually got ability block, but they did not. Oh, wow, that is a big hit. Okay. I always get surprised by how hard he hits. Ah, so data, uh, quizzers aren't total trash even before Reva made them insane. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. That was actually a pleasant surprise. This is kind of a fun one. I got a sortie versus a sortie, and they have a datacron equipped somehow, a level zero datacron. I don't understand how that's even possible. Um, but my, I have a clear advantage. I got a level 9 Datacron versus no Datacron. Uh, tenacity, armor penetration, armor potency, all that stuff. Um, and the exact same comp. So, uh, the question is, does Sorty get stuck against herself with the protection up? And that's what I want to figure out here. Get that going. Okay, that's pretty good. Take out T3. There might be a problem there. Don't do I like have any dispels? Yeah, I don't have any dispels, which is really a problem, probably a foreseeable issue. Fire protection up. Buff immunity anywhere is probably a one protection up. Can I get through it?
Maybe just the smoke screen is a dispel. Yeah. If I can time that kind of right. Yeah, get keep the healing immunity on her. And then just hopefully the dispels can work. Is it takes forever to cycle back to that. <sighs> okay. This is like a little pickle I shouldn't have got myself into. Okay, should the healing immunity there? I think I will get it. I'll just be close now that I've figured it out. Couple more there. Yes, okay, I did it. Okay. I don't know if that's enjoyable to watch, but it was a nice little uh, noodle scratcher. Alright, I feel like this one is risky, but I'm taking a boss team without Mando, or no, without Grief or Aura against this Iden team. And I gave myself plenty of defense, uh, some cooldown resets. And Slam so Django just because he can get multiple hits. Um, can her revive be prevented? Or not be prevented? No, so I can annihilate her and it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of running in. Like trying to make a use of my bounty hunter team. Probably could have picked a weaker item. But I did not want to be a coward. Yeah, they're not too tough. Uh, everyone's dazed. Okay, he's not coming back. It's kind of laggy. Do that just to get some debuffs out there and heal up. I need this for debuffs. Even though I get wrecked with counterattacks. Just need a little bit more. There we go, got contract. Just need to get around to Ida uh, Mando to take out Iden. The revive prevention is working out pretty good here. Oh yeah, he's got healing immunity. Man, I, I have a bad sign of Jango. He is not strong.
am glad that there is plenty on this wall that I can use my stuff against, and it's not super overkill. It's not di super dicey. Uh, it's been a good effort against this wall, and I'm glad I was able to catch it before I went to bed. Right, time for a BAM vs. Dash showdown. I'm going to use the Stagger, Stun, Extra Damage. Uh, this level 3 kind of sucks. Got some arm penetration, health, and tenacity. I'm going against a dash team, dash lead, no BAM. Um, they do have Vander Chu, which I don't have, and Zalbar, but we each have IG11 and Quill and Dash. It's just kind of an interesting battle. Um, don't really see any of these things anywhere else, uh, just because you can get kind of creative in Territory War. So I get to go first. Go ahead and do this. Build up my stacks. This isn't just like a total standoff. I do have a nest, which they don't have. I go for Vandor Chewy. Yeah, okay, I got all this recovery. Ooh, I'm gonna get my AoE soon. I hope that takes out Vandor. Get him? I didn't get him. There we go. I got him. And now dash. Okay, dash and quill. Even better. Oh, the extra damage is really helping on Zalmar because he's very tanky, very defense heavy. Just the true. Uh, health damage really helps a lot. Nice. Quill for the finishing blow. There we go. A little bit rocky, but it worked out for 20. Okay, so this one is what would be a good team in Grand Arena, but in Territory War it's a little bit weaker. I got Qui-Gon lead. I'm going to give him the protect, health and protection recovery, some decent stats over here. Um, and it's against a Lackluster Iden team. Um, I do have GK since I forgot or mixed him up with uh, General Skywalker and did not set him with JMK. So let's see. You know, I got stunned, which is nice. And can I take you out just in one shot? No, I cannot. That'll take out some people. Uh, yes. Just because of the gear levels and everything, it's it's overkill. But it's like a team, these guys, I don't need them with Jedi Master Luke or um, Janet Revan, so they'll just be kind of wasted if I don't use them. Is worthwhile use of them. Um, I'm saving Johnny at Revan to maybe use with the JML if I do run into Johnny Master Kenobi. Uh, but I'm running out of teams that I can take now on this wall. It's just a lot of Sign of Django, some Mauls. Yeah, there's a standalone nest. Maybe I could handle that, but I don't know. Eh, this item might be my last shot to do something. So I got the Jedi, I got a Wampa, it's pretty much useless. Geos, hmm. Geos, Night Sisters, which I do get used out of sometimes in Territory War. 
Uh, a lot of stuff that's not super coherent. So Geo's... Yeah, I don't think Geo's... I mean, whoever left that, they'll probably want to clean that up and get some banners there. And then we got some GG's with the Droika Datacron, or Omicron, and I'm not sure how to handle that. A lot of malls. Yeah, and some dashes. So uh, I think I'm going to call it a night there, but I'm glad I got to have some exposure on this wall. Uh, we're not too far off from ships, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. Might be on video, might not. Uh, I'm a little busy tomorrow. So who knows. I'm number one overall in banners. Yay. Uh, successful attacks, 289. So yeah, way ahead on banners, but it's all about trying to use wise counters, not overkill and not be too risky. Anyway, I'll see you later. Uh, maybe it'll be done completely, or maybe I'll do some more battles. Okay, everyone, I am back. It is the next day, and I picked out a raid team I want to fight. We got back to uh, ships and the uh, uh, middle zone and the third south zone. So in the middle zone, there's a bunch of rays and Lord Vader's. I'm just going to go ahead and use Jedi Master Luke against a ray, and I'm trying to save the Supreme Leader Kylo counter in case we run across that. So these are the Jedi I have left over. I have Mace, which should make it pretty good, and the data run I want to use is my 200% potency, because if I can get ability block on everyone, uh, it should get me off to a great start. Um, they have the good, this is a pretty good data cron for resistance if they can get their abilities off. Um, they do have some resistance defense as well. Uh, some potency iron penetration, but if I can get those key ability blocks, I can do a lot to shut them down. Uh, so, and the ray, it's not like it doesn't impress me a ton. Pretty good health, um, not amazing speed, not amazing offense, so I think I can handle it. And the rest of these guys are R5, except uh, Jedi Training Ray, of course, which is a prerequisite. So let's see how this goes. Ability block. I did not get the ability block on Ray. So that is not completely optimal. Um, I want the create immunity on everyone. And swap turn meter here. Um, Finn is probably most important to get out. Stunner that did no it did not work. He's gone. Good, 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 good. Uh, I actually need to need to cleanse her off. Maybe that's why people don't use mace a lot. That was a miss click too. Okay, I'm doing this terribly. Uh, Cause mace taunted. I got the inspired off. Uh, mace taunted, and then he got the whirlwind, and now everyone else has. There's less. A sh there's a smaller shared pool. Of protection. She has not gone under yet. It's probably a disaster. Um, at least get out. Train Ray. I'm gonna save that actually. Yeah, this 
is not going to be pretty. Get all that out. Maybe Jolie can survive and I can pick up the pieces. Everyone survived, actually. That's amazing. Okay, it's still good. He need him to get the kill on Ben and one more. Okay, good. Whew. That worked. Man, I was scared at the beginning, but the fact that she didn't have uh, offense mods or like any kind of focus on offense actually really helped. So that makes me glad that I've switched my ray because even in a kind of disaster situation like that where I just lost one of five and I had a flimsy Yoda left over, I was able to pull it out. Yeah, so that's probably the only one I'm going to be able to do on this wall. I don't see any Supreme Leader Kylos, but if there is one in the back, I'm ready for one. And if not, you know, JKL with Revan should be pretty good for another team anyway. Um, I don't have my Padme and Galactic Republic for this wall, but they do have an Inquisitor team. Hmm. Let me see if I can do anything here. What does she do again? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that one pretty decent um yeah i don't think whatever i have left, i think i'd have to use jedi and they have anti-jedi synergy so that'd be kind of iffy so i'm not gonna do that what i'm gonna do now it's just a couple ship battles they have a executor wall um definitely gonna use profundity for one um but i'm going to use maybe empire let's so just pick this one um, here we go. You, you, you are fine. Let's do it. Unfortunate dodge, but I'm glad they got extra assists there. Okay, good. That is good. out. Uh, kind of like taking a lot of the teeth off. Now I wish I had more reinforcements. Tenacity up this Okay, I think I can do this. I uh, don't think they're close to... Yeah, they're not going to get ultimate. I just want some ships alive. Post ultimate. 
say. There we go. So they have to target my tank. He's gone. The lesson I learned today is just go ahead and hide the Millennium Falcon behind the whatever it is, the outmaneuver. Okay. <laughs> Did my one. And now I'm going to try to stretch for a second ship win. Okay, so this is a little risky, but uh, this saves a profundity counter if they have that in the back. Got Tide Vans, Imperial TIE Fighter. Sith Bomber, and then the two fancy TIE Fighter ships and reinforcements. And I can get the Foresight with the TIE Fighter up pretty quick. And then get the bonus next uh, on the next turn, bring in the TIE, um, the Tri-Wing or whatever, Iden ship. And just get the Terminator train going, and hopefully... Uh, yeah, go for you. I should almost kill him there. Okay, so that's good that they targeted him. Look at her. More turn meter. Full turn meter. Okay. Stay alive, my guy. Irresistible stun. Just a time for this. And we... I'm gonna get the ultimate here soon. He's almost dead. There we go, heal up Vader. Very nice. This is such a good ship. I don't love that. Well, actually, I do love that because I, I had force it. <laughs> or it's fine if I just keep getting the. Uh, The turn maker. This is, this is all but done. There we go, very nice match. 21 banners. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to perform a little bit of surgery and take Hux against the triple attacker executor. It can win, but it's not like Super sure thing. Uh, none of these are really great pilots. Uh, the other two are Relic 5. It's just Relic 3. Bam, so that's why I picked this one. And if it doesn't work out, if I kill a couple key ships, I can do a cleanup with like a lesser fleet or something like Holdo or Rebels or something. Yeah, I think just doing like this. Probably the best. I do not have advantage. Okay, already not going. Fantastic. I can take him out. That was a fortunate dodge. That is an unfortunate. Mark. Got him out too, so that's actually excellent. Um, hmm. Let's bring in special forces. I'll save. Do that or something. Just 
breach, so that's not gonna work. this. What's the... this is the buff immunity, yeah. Okay, okay, it's shaping up. shot at him. So, I have now cleared out three executors, I think that's more than my fair share. Okay, and I am tapped for now on ships and land, I'm gonna wait a little bit, maybe I get a chance to come back and do some more attacks. It's pretty neck and neck, as you can see, we're ahead by a few hundred, um, but they have more battles left to do than we do, so that kind of makes up that difference there, it's, it is very close. I'm not gonna show my de our defenses, because I don't want to like give away anything. if. Because uh, if someone faces us later, they could just be like, oh, this is Sanjita's skill, let's look at what their defense was last time and try to scout that, but yeah, hopefully we can pull this one off, this is a very good match. Alright, coming down to the wire here, we just got to one of the back zones, um, and it's a Mon Mothma wall, I just need to pick a fight with one that's not a proper lineup, and Geos will work fine. Uh, so this one here is a perfect candidate. This. Okay, and just I can only use the level three, so I like to pick the one with the offensive buffs. Um, Wedge and Bigs are not really gonna do much here. I mean, Bigs will get turn meter if I hit him or crit him, so I'm gonna try to avoid that until like towards the end. But they're not gonna have a super turn meter train going. It's just he's gonna go first, and they don't have enough firepower. Um, to do anything. That dog is barking. And then he's got that the ability blocked, but he did not. And there might just be this dance between him and Spy, which, or uh, Brute, which Brute should win. Funny, actually. Yeah. So, pretty safe as long as it's not the right lineup. Against the right lineup, uh, you know, it could maybe work, but it's super risky. Another match that will work against a non optimal lineup is probably this Night Sister team. And uh, I got the. Offense, no, the uh, health, healthy buffs here. Actually, I kind of want the offensive buffs. Yeah, that's better. Um, and they're not going to be able to wipe me out, so over time, I will get them. It should be full. Banners for Territory War. Again, they don't have a Terminator train to rely on. Just a non moth there, that would have been choice. Now he's 
secret immunities, a bit of a pill. Oh, that didn't land on anyone. Stop my turn meter gains. Okay, let's go with that. This focus is Kyle. Oh, that's a nice hit. I'm not gonna take any chances, just wanna wipe them out now. So they don't get some momentum and then wedge next. They don't have a rule 5 for a while. Nice. Hey, actually I actually want to go for this guy. Uh, so that. Biggs is going to keep getting a bunch of turns, and I just want this guy out of the picture. So I have to worry about. Just knock him completely out. Okay, so another good use of Night Sisters, another good use against a crappy one Mothma team. As far as the rest of the wall goes, I don't most of them are proper. I mean this one's definitely not proper. Um uh, I still want to save Jedi Knight Revan and Jaina Luke. Um anything else I'd use here would be really kind of a Frankenstein's monster of teams. And since we're in such a close battle. I'm going to stop right there until um, probably I get to the back wall. Um, I do want to do ships, though, if that opened up on the back. Okay, we got a few more. If they have a profundity in the back, I could take that out. Otherwise, I can't really do anything on ships for now. And I am back once more. We have poked through to the back wall. We have 3 hours 51 minutes left. Uh, we have two zo more zones cleared than they do, but they're getting close, and our last zones are not super impressive either. Uh, so this is really quite a nail-biter. Um, and they sit just a full negotiator wall, there's some malevolence, uh, but for the most part just negotiator. And I lied when I said I could only take on a profundity, it's actually uh, going to be fine for me to take on a negotiator with a malevolence. Uh, and I might try the Executrix, but uh, I don't know. Um, this site does have some anti-Jedi synergy. Be quiet, Pope. Come on. No, I couldn't get him. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nothing is good. Let's just do it. Come here. Help me. Okay, here it goes. You wanna help me out for this one, Pup? Oh, I just sit. Just sit for a little bit. Just a little bit. He's not very happy. Okay, fine. <sighs> Stubborn dog. Okay, spy, mark, and I get No, first. Okay, that's good at least. He's out from under his hiding. So, yeah, There we go. Nice. Okay. And I think it's always best to do the last. This gives counter chance. Stop. 
I just couldn't resist attacking since he's stunned and they had the buzzes. Should die on his turn. Uh, I won't get a turn. Okay, 21, pretty good. Okay, yeah, so I actually checked on Swigga.gg, and this actually does have a pretty good win rate, even though it's like just the typical profundity counter. So I'm gonna actually give it a shot. Um, I don't have great reinforcements, just got the bomber. And some leftover stuff, but... Here goes, Scythe is, I mean, supposed to be a super strong ship on its own. Um, and profundity is just like punching up, so hopefully this isn't risky, really. Uh, so I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna put buff on him, which is actually very helpful. That's all gonna go on him. And Anakin did not assist. So when it comes back around to Gauntlet, I'll do a cleanse. Don't want to force any taunts. Just lift this. And there we go. Get that pesky daze off. That's with the dodge. And the bomber is really the only worthwhile reinforcement here. He used his unending loyalty. Of course, the taunt. Burning, just need yeah, one hit over there. I'm gonna heal up so. Yeah, that's really just forcing me at an octave. Okay, taunts. Okay, <laughs> I got ripped in at least, but I got another taunter to deal with. Now I can go ahead. Good cleanse, heal a bomber, he's prepared his pits. So this is working well. It is slow. It's working well. They're being quite tanky. It's old. I get dazed soon. Just fear. What is the condition for fear? Get my ultimate soon. Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, nice. That'll be enough to kill. Stay alive, stay alive. Okay, yep, my enforcement su reinforcement sucks, so. No. This. Ah, I wanted his cleanse to come up. Let's get him. Okay, good. He's super annoying. Now I got the, the uh, dispel. Ah, oh, that is so annoying. I'm like in a tiny or something. Actually, I need to auto it. So I'm running low on time. Animation's 
take too long. Okay, good. I think I can do it, these guys. Hmm. Mostly toothless, but... Okay. Okay. One more hit. Oh. Whew. Okay. After all that, still twenty banners. Um. I lost. I lost one unit. One starting unit. So that was annoying, but it worked. And now we have broken to the final wall. Um. So we should be able to pull clear pretty easily because this is just a profundity wall. Uh, that's unfortunate. You have someone dropping a battle there. Uh, it's, did I say profundity wall? It's a radis wall. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to use my Jedi Knight uh, Revan, Jedi Knight Luke somewhere. And this is a high data cron. Let's see. Marked. Mm, I'm actually fine with that. Uh, so I'm just going to use Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Luke with one of the Jedi I have. If it's good enough for Supreme Leader Kylo. Should be good enough for Radis and... Uh, JKR takes Radis in Grand Arena anyway. Resistance Penetration. Yeah, that'll help with Revan and Bastila. The extra health will help. Um, that's that. Resistance, Potency... Maybe the potency. He's gonna pick the best stats. And maybe crit damage. Uh, I'll go with armor penetration. Oh, no. I'll go with that. This one's fine. Um, yeah, let's. Well, let me check his speed. Pretty fast. Uh, but I want to get him down first. So all in on Radis. That's actually who I kind of want marked anyway. It's not everybody. Cleansing all the time. That should be my last battle of the Territory War, and all that's left for me to do now is to come back later and share the results. Uh, we're ahead. If, if it were a race to full clear, we're ahead. Um, yeah, I don't want to show those zones, actually. But yeah, I'll be back with the results. Okay, and I am back with the recap, and it was just such a close photo finish for us. They only had two fleets left to clear and we were if they did clear him we had still won um but up until the, like the last 20 minutes or so they were still ahead on banners meaning that if they just cleared with all possible or like with 20s left over they were gonna win uh, now this was just so close and um so our territory war guild off uh, guild officer was uh really trying to stop people from using malevolence and i had already used my malevolence and executrix but he was really trying to make sure we got the efficient wins on that negotiator wall in the back um again i don't want to show what we had on defense uh for future iterations or future opponents but hats off to uh lace baguettes and flames this was super close uh, it was really fun and i have, hope you've enjoyed this video it's been over 24 hours 
that I've been making it here and there. Uh, so if you enjoyed the Territory War content, uh, let me know in a comment and uh, maybe give a like and maybe subscribe on this video so I know that there's interest because it does take a lot out of me to come back over the course of 24 hours for this, but I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, it was a lot of fun and hopefully see you in the next Territory War one.